Welcome to Queer Network News. My name is Justin Gerhardt. What you want, baby, I got it. What you need, you know I got it. All I'm asking you is for the stuff when you got on it, baby. Just when you had on it, boy, you do now. The Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, passed away in her Detroit home last Thursday, surrounded by family and friends, leaving behind a rich legacy of classic songs, including Respect, You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman, Chain of Fools, Bridge Over Troubled Water, and Freeway of Love, just to name a few. Whenever she got up on stage, her voice would summon the power of soul and once again transcend all boundaries of race, age, and gender through her velvety voice and superstar stage presence. She earned multiple awards throughout the decades, including 18 Grammys, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, and in 1987, she was the first female artist inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Franklin sang for multiple presidents, most memorably the inauguration of former President Barack Obama, wearing that legendary big felt hat with its crystal studded bow. She also befriended high profile leaders such as Martin Luther King Jr., lending her music, the song Respect in particular, as an anthem-like stature to the feminist and civil rights movement, unapologetically embodying American black culture on a global stage. Beyond her worldwide diva status, Aretha deeply identified with all communities, especially the marginalized ones, including the queer community. She was the guest of honor at Elton John's AIDS Foundation's 25th anniversary last year in New York City, and was introduced as the greatest singer of all time. Elton said the loss of Aretha Franklin is a blow for everyone who loves real music. Music from the heart, the soul, and the church. The prestigious Toronto International Film Festival, known to be a marker for what will do well during awards season, is starting to create some buzz after releasing a big wave of films being presented at the 2018 festival, running from September 6th to 16th. With the success of past films like The Danish Girl, Moonlight, and Call Me By Your Name, Call me by your name and I'll call you by mine. Who went on to capture multiple nominations and awards, TIFF continues to be a safe place to premiere queer cinema. And this is no exception this year with the international premiere of Boy Erased, directed by Joel Egerton, starring Nicole Kidman, Russell Crowe, and Lucas Hedges which tells the story of a teenaged son of a Baptist pastor who is forced into a gay conversion program by his parents. Your parents signed you up for a program to fix you, but Jared, you are a perfectly normal, very healthy teenage boy. They're gonna do things for you. Your revelation. Welcome to the refuge program. You cannot be born a homosexual. This is a lie. It's a choice. Save yourself. Is this what you want? Who's gonna strike this demon down? Hit him! Yeah. Click on the link in the description to watch the trailer and mark your calendars for September 3rd to get your tickets to TIFF 2018. On to our final tidbit. Christine Halquist just became America's first ever transgender nominee for governor last Tuesday night after winning a four-way Democratic primary in Vermont. The victory is a defining moment in the movement for trans equality and is especially remarkable given how few out trans elected officials there are at any level of government. If elected in November, Halquest will be one of just a handful of trans people to ever hold public office in the United States. Currently, there are 13 trans politicians serving at the state or local level. At a time when Americans are increasingly seeking non-traditional political candidates, Halquist brings with her decades of experience in the business sector after transitioning three years ago from the Vermont Electric Cooperative, becoming one of America's first transgender CEOs. Click on the link in the description to read more about her powerful story. And remember to tune in for our weekly episode of Queer from the Couch, this week featuring Reverend Brent Hawks, LGBTQ activist and former senior pastor of MCC Church in Toronto, to talk about an upcoming project he's working on to confront religious-based homophobia. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you stay up to date on all of the Queer Network's new content. We'll see you next week. Okay. Uh...
Democratic. Sorry. <laughs> la, la, la. Oh, it's the best one ever! I know. <clears throat> R-E-S-P-C-T, tell me what you mean to me. Here we go.